My name is Michael N. McGregor. I'm a writer and teacher and the author of Pure Act, The Uncommon Life of Robert Lax, a biography of one of the most original and intriguing poets of the 20th century. For me, Lax wasn't just a subject, he was also a friend. Lax was born in New York in 1915 and attended Columbia University. After graduating, he remained in New York City and achieved early success publishing his poems in popular magazines such as The New Yorker, where he also worked for a while. Eventually, though, he tired of the commercialism and soullessness in New York, as well as the traditional poetic forms he'd been working in. Eventually, Lax became known not only for his poetic approach, but also for the wisdom and transcendence in the simple seeming content in his poems. Perhaps critic Richard Kostelanitz put it best when he called Lax one of America's greatest poets, a true minimalist who can weave awesome poems from remarkably few words. While still in college, he met and became friends with the future Trappist monk Thomas Merton, who would become one of the most important religious figures of the 20th century. Lax and Merton inspired and learned from each other, and out of their relationship and experiences together, Lax developed his own spiritually infused approach to life. He called it pure act, borrowing the term from philosopher and theologian Thomas Aquinas. In Lax's view, pure act meant recognizing, developing, and sharing whatever skill or talent you possessed by performing it fully in the moment. He believed that everybody doing their best at whatever they did and coming together in community created something higher and better than any of them doing it solely for themselves. The fullest expression of pure act he encountered in his long life came from the Christiani Circus family. After meeting them in New York in the 1940s, he visited them at their winter quarters in Florida and then traveled with them for a month in Western Canada performing himself sometimes as a clown. Along the way, he took notes for what would become his first and still best loved book, The Circus of the Sun, as well as a volume that would be published 50 years later, Mogador's book. Eventually published collectively as Circus Days and Nights, these two volumes, which relate the setting of, up of the circus and the performance of its stars to the creation of the world, give the fullest expression of pure act, as well as the joy and wonder and transitory nature of the circus experience. Lax himself became a true embodiment of pure act. Being with him meant being in the presence of a fully engaged and fully loving human being, one who laughed easily, thought deeply, and was always creative, always present, always encouraging in whatever you thought or wanted to do. Although he's gone now, his poetry and ideas and even his love live on, and his spirit is brought most fully to life, I think, whenever people read or discuss or perform his works together. <laughs>